couple of weeks ago, we received a big old box full of Hecna. This is an absolutely huge 5e adventure for levels 1 through 10 in a whimsical but dark fantasy carnival setting. And when I say huge, I am serious. I have never seen so much content for a level 1 to 10 adventure. The book itself is already a respectable 294 pages, but just look at the font size when we compare it to an official D&D &D book. And the content from what I've read so far is fantastic, which shouldn't be a surprise because this book was primarily written by acclaimed author Ashley Warren, who co-wrote Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, and pioneered the award-winning Uncaged Anthology. Now, I have to give a bunch of conflict of interest warnings up front here. Hit Point Press, who publishes this adventure, is our primary sponsor. And we do work with Ashley Warren's Storytellers Collective, which is a fantastic resource if you're wanting to get into writing for TTRPGs. And we both wrote for the Uncaged Anthology, which won us our Gold Any Awards for Best Adventure back in 2022. So bear all that in mind. The Hecna set comes with a bunch of content, but I want to start with some of the minis, and there are nine sets of minis here. Today we're going to look at Hecking Pets, the Schnozzling Familiar, and Hecna himself. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the Gallant Goblin proudly brings to you the Minis of Hecna. Today's video is brought to you by Hit Point Press. The Imperfect Sale is going on now. Get Imperfect Animated Spell Decks, Condition Decks, the Deck of Illusions, and the Humblewood Book or Box Set today for a massive discount. Supplies are limited, so be sure to check it out now using the info icon in the corner or the links below. First of all, please be aware that this review will contain some light spoilers. Let's start off with Hecna himself. This set contains six figures. First, we have Hecna in four different poses. Hecna is the vain and visionary ringleader who serves as the titular antagonist of this adventure. He wants to entertain and build the best carnival he can by corrupting the very best performers in the world and making them part of his revelia. He's a grandstanding sociopath who hides a core of insecurity and fear. In the demiplane that is the Revelia, it's always dark, and the moon phases are a reflection of Hegna's mood. Our figures represent each of those phases, the full moon, waxing or waning moon, dusk, and the blood moon. I'm going to leave you to discover the meaning of each of those phases, but if the blood moon appears, well, it's not good. Hegna has a very robust and clever CR14 stat block. The other two minis in the set are the Punchline, which is Hecna's magical warhammer, and a Schnozzling. The Punchline is a legendary sentient chaotic evil plus two warhammer with a number of different abilities. For example, three times a day, you can cast hideous laughter with it. The Schnozzling. Now, this is a little parasite that carries Hecna's clown corruption which has quite a few phases and effects. It'll attach to a person's face by inserting its legs into the host's eye sockets, and it'll hook its other legs into the host's mouth, and then it reaches in for the brain. While attached, its round red body gives the victim a big old clown nose. And here you can see all the minis and Hecna himself all together. Now, if you like schnozzlings and want one of your very own, you can pick up the schnozzling familiar, which isn't necessarily designed to be a mini exactly, but a one-to-one -one scale pet, which even comes with an adoption certificate. Of course, you can use it as a D&D monster if you like, though it doesn't come with a base. It has a CR one half stat block. Finally, we have the Hecking Pet Set. Hecna grew two monstrous pets from his own body. They are truly the only creatures in the world that he really cares about, but they are just extensions of himself, really. And they each fall in and out of favor with their papa, giving them different effects. Let's start with the oversized ant lion, Myrmidon, who has a special little growth on the end of his tongue that looks like a humanoid child, a growth that he uses to lure his victims in. He has a CR12 stat block. You also get a mini of a Myrmidon egg sack and a popcorn swarm. You see, when Myrmidon's eggs hatch, its spawn resembles popcorn because of course it does. Next up is Snout, known locally as the Nose of Hecna. Its body is a huge red orb covered in moss-like fur, and he has a bunch of tendrils that just spiral out from him. Snout is the progenitor of the Schnozlings. It also has a CR12 stat block. The set also includes a Snout egg sack and a Schnozlum swarm mini. And here are all the minis and hecking pets all together. All the minis come fully assembled, but unprimed and unpainted. 
Now the minis haven't been out very long yet, so I haven't seen any painted examples. But if you have these minis and you've painted them up, come share them with us on our Discord channel using the invitation link down below. Each of these sets is available now for between 23 and 30 bucks. Let me know what you think about them in the comment section down below. I'm planning to cover the other mini sets and the adventure and the other extras over the next several weeks, so be sure you stay tuned for that. But if the idea of a dark carnival adventure tickles your fancy and you've been wanting to have a Joker-esque villain in your campaign, you need to check out Hecna. While you're there, pick yourself up some handy animated 5e reference cards to give your other games a little bit of pizzazz. You can use our link up there in the corner or down below, and come join us on social media at one of the sites over here. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I will see you next time at the Gallant Goblin.